life always gives you exactly what you need. And <laughs> I'm, I'm just in my car right now. I was about to drive to Glendalock, this really gorgeous place in Ireland, and take some more photos before I go because I'm going back to Canada soon. And my camera, um, I don't really know what you call this, but basically what happened was I went to put my uh, battery pack in my Canon Rebel T3i and I don't know if you guys can see this let me try to show you can you see oops can you see how there is like a little piece missing where the battery goes right there there's only three pieces and there should be four so I think that's why it's not working and um, I'm not sure if there's a way to fix it there has to be a way Maybe I just have to send it in, or maybe someone out there has a suggestion for me that would be awesome. <sighs> wow, it's funny. Um, I wanted to make a video today about just being human <laughs> and how I am so okay being human. Um, and uh, I actually wanted to talk about how I'm a lot more okay making videos when I'm not at my best, when I'm not, or you know, best, when I'm not feeling really joyful and energized because that's what I felt like I had to do for a while there. And it's funny because that's what I asked for and I'm, I'm not feeling so hot right now I'm just I'm and I'm okay with it you know I'm, I'm fully human I I guess I have an attachment to my camera um, and I was just really looking forward to taking photos <laughs> during my last few days here and I'm sure I can borrow Holly's camera I'm sure that's okay but it's just not the same you know and you know, she has a great camera but Oh, something I, I don't really have too many attachments but I really like that camera and I just uh it's okay it's all good you know I know that this is happening for a reason I do know that but at the same time I'm I'm really big on just embracing the fact that I'm human and I get upset even over seemingly silly things sometimes and that's okay completely okay. I think why this happened is because well the universe wants me to just go to get Glendalock and just really soak it all up rather than taking photos just really be present there and I know that's what I need and I also hope this means that the universe is manifesting me a better camera and a really amazing lens that would be awesome universe you know that that would allow me to take everything to the next level anyway I'm not really sure what this video is about I, I don't want to just complain you know that's, that's silly it's not my intention I don't need people to feel sorry for me it's it's just a camera right There's such a big part of me <laughs> that wants to delete a lot of my videos from the past. A lot of the videos from like 2009, 2010, a bit of 2011, because before you, you start to panic, and because a lot of you really like those videos, don't worry, I'm not going to delete them. But there's such, there is a, there is a big part of me that's like, ah, oh, man, I'm so different now. I'm, I'm just so much more okay showing all sides of me. 
and not really caring too much what people think. And I just, I feel like for, you know, the beginning, the first couple years of making YouTube videos, I really only felt comfortable making a video when I was feeling really inspired, really happy, really energized. And I think that that gave a lot of people the wrong impression of me. I, I know I did. And I just feel like I'm at a point where I just want to be completely real with myself and the world. I don't want to hide parts of myself. I'm really done that. And I've seen like how powerful it is when I am myself, when I show my vulnerable side and how much that reaches people, how much that helps people. And I, I want to keep doing that. And it's just, it's so much, ugh. It's just like a huge, a huge weight is lifted off your shoulders when you just let go of the need for other people's approval and what you let go of the story that you've told yourself for the longest time. <sighs> Such a beautiful day out. It's a little cloudy now, but it was really sunny earlier. It's all good. I'm not going to let my camera get me down. I am going to feel what I'm feeling, and I think that we have every right to how we feel. It's how we feel, you know? <laughs> Um, and I, you know, I'm, gosh, I, bottom line, I, I really, even though there, there's a part of me that's like, no, I, I just want people to stop emailing me and telling me that I'm just so wonderful and I'm so this and so that. And it, it's not because I don't think I'm wonderful. It's because I feel that a lot of people email me and it's almost like they put me up on this pedestal. And they, they just see me as this this woman who is just so inspirational and positive and has her shit together. And the truth is that I have just as many insecurities, fears, wounds as the next person. You know, maybe I haven't gone through as much as some people, but I, I have gone through a lot of stuff. And I've chosen not to broadcast everything in my life. Um, just because I... Well, even though I believe in being transparent as much as possible, I'm still, I'm still someone who wants some level of, of privacy. And you know, you know, when you're going something through something really tough, you don't want everybody to know because you don't want their opinions. You don't want their projections. You know, you want to confide in people that truly know you and that allow you to, to really be yourself and make your own choices. And it's, it's funny, there's so many people um, after my last video that I uploaded saying that I'm going to start making videos again. Uh, so many people who emailed me, of course, with a lot of positive feedback and, and said that, uh, you know, it's really inspiring to hear that I'm following my heart and I'm pursuing my photography and I'm, I'm going to stop doing the one-on-one -on -one consults and just essentially just follow, follow my heart, you know, follow my heart and my soul's calling. But of course I had some people that said, oh, Leia, you need to keep doing your healing work. You know, you just got to go meditate and you'll be fine, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, um, thanks for the input, but I know what's best for me. I know what my heart is telling me. And you know what your heart is telling you. I know a lot of people right now are feeling, <laughs> are feeling like they're at a crossroads and they don't know what to do. But the truth is, you do know what to do. I know, I, I know a lot of people can relate to what I'm saying right now. They probably feel like I'm speaking to you. And I am speaking to you. And I love you. And I support you. And whatever you decide, whatever your heart is calling you to do, whatever brings you the most joy and excitement, do it. You know that's the right path. You know that's, that path is going to tap you in to the flow of abundance and joy and love. And I encourage you to do it. And I know it's tough because we just, we live in a world with all this conditioning and, and we just feel all this pressure from society to be a certain way. You know, I understand that. But it's your life. It's your life. 
And life is so short. It's so short, you know. And I really feel it's important to, to just remind yourself that this is essentially down here a dream. And I know it feels very real, but it's a dream, you know. So you might as well make the most of it and choose. Choose a path that makes, that makes your heart sore. That sounds kind of cheesy, but seriously, it's true. And I know that every single time I followed my heart, even if, you know, along the way there were bumps and I, I had, you know, along the way obstacles, challenges, oh, you know, just, just looking back on my life, it led me to where I am today, which I feel is a really good place. And I'm, I'm not saying that I, I have it all figured out. I will never have it all figured out. I'm human. You know, why would I want to have it all figured out? What's the point of that? That's boring. You know, I'm perfectly okay being human, being a student, being a teacher, and being fabulous and flawed. I say flawed like that because I don't think anyone's really flawed. We're all beautiful. It's, it's, you know, our quirks and wounds that make us the unique person that we are. And it's our passions that inspire people. And, and that's what we need to be doing. I really feel, you know, do whatever you want to do. There's no right or wrong. But I know, I know for myself that whenever I've just followed that excitement, <sighs> such beautiful, enriching experiences. And for a while, I'm going to let you know that when I was transitioning from just doing like, you know, your odd job, like, um, I worked, I actually, I went to school, I went to university when I was 18. My plan, my plan back then was to become a, a teacher. Uh, my minor was English and my major was fine arts, but, um, You know, I was young and I, I didn't really know what other options I had. Uh, excuse me. Yes, I burp. I'm human. I'm allowed. Um, but, uh, yeah, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I, I thought that that's what I wanted to do. I mean, I thought that's what, that's what you do. You go to university. You get a job after. You buy a house. You get married. You have kids. I mean, that, that's one way to live. It doesn't mean that I have to live that way. And, and even though back then, when I, when I started university, I didn't actually know what I wanted to do. I knew that I didn't want to, to do what I was doing because um, I just, it didn't feel right. I, I began to, I found that my passion for art and just school in general began to dissipate. I'm like, what's going on? I guess I'm not supposed to do this. So I dropped out. And I worked um, as a nanny for a while. I did a bit of waitressing, a bit of modeling. And I found myself always researching anything to do with spirituality, self-help stuff, uh, nutrition. So, of course, that was a sign to me that this is something that you know, I, I should probably pursue as a career. I mean, I'm, I'm spending all my spare time researching this stuff, and I'm so excited about it. It only makes sense, right? So that's what I did. Um, after about four years of just being in the real world, which was very pivotal to my journey, very, very important because I learned people skills. So I'm very grateful for those years where I was out in the real world. So that's something else to kind of keep in mind if you're beating yourself up right now because you're like, oh, I'm doing this job that I know is not really in alignment with my highest excitement and my passions. Just know that you're exactly where you need to be and that you're learning and growing and you know what you're learning right now is going to help you down the road. So just be kind with yourself, okay? Um, doesn't mean you can't take action steps every single day that, that move you more into the direction of your highest excitement or not necessarily highest, whatever, you know, whatever your passions are, you know, whatever it... <laughs> Anyway, I'm just, I'm totally rambling on here, but I guess the point that I wanted to make was just trust yourself more and don't pay attention to what other people have to say because most people are, they're just projecting, they're projecting their own self-judgments onto you. 
and that's what I experienced when I was um, when I decided maybe around age 22 that I wanted to uh, buy a quantum biofeedback device which is very expensive by the way it's about 20 grand you can get it on sale you can find them for cheaper than that now but when I wanted to buy um, a quantum biofeedback device and, and use that as my foundation for helping people to heal holistically, along with, you know, I, I took other courses in, in energy healing, nutrition, stuff like that. But um, when I was thinking about pursuing this, and I was really excited about it, at the time, I had a boyfriend that was really opposed to it. You know, he told me that he, he didn't think I could do it. He told me that he didn't think I could get one client. And then he proceeded to tell me that I was fucked in the head. So obviously that relationship ended. And I had a lot of other people, like some of my extended family, tell me that I shouldn't do this. I should do something else. I should just um, go back to a conventional university and become a nurse or something. And I didn't listen to these people. Absolutely not. I followed my heart. And I'm so glad that I did because it led me to where I am today, which is basically a point where... If I wanted to continue to do my holistic healing consults, which I'm kind of transitioning out of right now, but if I wanted to, I could support myself financially. I have so many clients. It's ridiculous. So, you know, that just goes to show you that you know what's best for you, and you can do it. If you're passionate about something, if you have, you feel that passion, that is a sign that that is what you need to be doing. You, you, you will not go wrong. You will not fail. There's no such thing as failure ever. You know, there's only experiences. There's only learning and lessons and you know, blessings and growth and expansion. There's no failing. There's no, you know, even if, you know, you, tr you try something for a while and, and you see that, okay, well, this isn't really working the way that I thought it would. It doesn't mean that you're a failure. It means that you, you're learning. You know, you had an incredible experience that taught you a lot. Um, and, and there's no such thing as mistakes. That's another thing, you know, when people say, oh, I made a mistake, I made a mistake, uh, and they beat themselves up about it. Please, just celebrate these so-called mistakes because it got you to where you are today. You know, and I'm sure you learned a lot. And, ah, <sighs> I love you guys. And I... I'm really okay with people telling me whatever they want, you know, projecting their own stuff onto me. That's fine. I can handle it, you know, because I know, I know what makes me happy. And I know that by being human and just admitting the fact that I'm very human and, and talking about my so-called faults or wounds or whatever, that I'm helping other people, you know, I, I know that because I know all of us are going through something right now. All of us are struggling in some way. All of us have wounds. All of us have fears. All of us feel like shit sometimes. <laughs> All of us feel really happy sometimes. All of us burp. Okay? All of us, <laughs> like, you know, we're human. So I'm okay with, with people... I don't know, just, I guess, placing themselves above me. You know, thinking that, oh man, oh, that Leia, you know, she used to have her shit together. Now look at her. Oh, she's all over the place. She's vulnerable. She's, she's unbalanced. That's fine with me. It's okay. I'm human. And I'm really happy being human right now. And I'm really soaking it all up. That's why I love photography so much, you know, because I, I just love capturing Mother Earth. She's so beautiful. She is, she is a sexy, sexy beast. You know, when I'm photographing her, I'm like, yes, yes, work it. Oh, you sexy beast, you. I think if I was on another planet, I would definitely get it on with Mother Nature. Hells, yes. Um, but, you know, I just, I love, I love being here. I'm at a point where I just really love being here. You know, and I'm, inter I'm still interested in all this esoteric spiritual stuff because, you know, we are essentially spiritual beings, but... I just really, I think you guys get it. I'm just cool with being human. And um, I'm cool with people thinking what they want about me. So, I love you. And I just encourage you to be you. To follow your heart. You know what to do. 
and remember that um, just because you're passionate about something now doesn't mean that you're going to be passionate about it forever. You know, things change. So go after your passions, your highest excitement right now and see where it takes you. And just know that uh, at some point you're probably going to go into another direction. And that's okay. That's a part of being human, I feel. That's a part of having a soul. Your soul is constantly wanting to learn and grow and expand. And and I've, I've seen that firsthand. That's what I'm experiencing right now. Um, because, uh, you know, for many years there, I... I was I was very happy doing my one-on-one -on -one consults and 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 basically having the role of of helper and and teacher. Um, of course, I'm always a student, but anyway, I, I was very happy doing what I was doing, and thought that I I'd be doing that for a while. Yet, I found myself at a point. I'd say it kind of started maybe about eight months ago where. Or even before that, just every every single time I had a session, like it felt great, but I, I felt a part of my heart saying, Leia, you need to do more creative things. And um, it, I guess just, I would say over the last couple of months in particular, I just really, really felt that <laughs> I need to move into another direction. You know, I got to a point for a while there where I was really, really comfortable, you know, doing my sessions and, and, and just feeling fantastic that I, I got to a point where I can I can live anywhere I want and support myself financially yet the thing is that <laughs> for, for me and so many people when you're at that point where you're comfortable that's when your soul's like all right it's time to keep growing time to keep expanding and I think that's just life and I feel like a lot of people they ignore those uh, those pulls and, and those you know the calling of their heart and soul because of society, what society enforces upon us, which is basically that, you know, we're supposed to just get a nine to five job and work at that job for like 20 years or 30, 40 years and then retire. Those are just man-made rules. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but I do feel that if you are feeling a strong pull in one direction, you know, you're feeling like you need to be more creative uh, you know, you, you're wanting to explore some avenue, whatever it is, go do it. Just go, go you know, have a, a childlike attitude or, you know, childlike or, uh, is that the word I want to use? Basically childlike wonder is what I really encourage people to do their best to, to connect with, you know, that attitude that anything is possible and that this planet is essentially a playground and there's so much to learn. There's so much fun to be had. So, yeah, I encourage you guys and gals to play. And I'm going to end this video because it's pretty long. And I'm just going to go soak up nature. So, yeah, <laughs> without my camera. It's okay. I'm good. Okay. All right, guys. We'll talk later. Thank you. Love you.